Welcome to Global Social News. A UK-based Nigerian disc jockey, Olenihi Oladibo, popularly known as DJ Ola, has passed away. According to his friends, DJ Ola took his own life on Tuesday, September 13, after battling depression. One of his friends alleged that the deceased was sad about the way people talked down on him and also about the lies some Nigerians told his wife about him. Many of his friends have taken to social media to express shock and sadness at his demise. Among them is Pastor Charles Olay who mentored him at the start of his DJ music career. He said DJ Ola was a goal-getter, who worked so hard to get to where he was. He added that DJ Ola was loved and respected for his contribution to music and entertainment in the city and beyond. His church pastor, Pastor Oyewale posted on social media and wrote in a long statement. It reads, One death, too many? I was in a prayer program yesterday, when the wife of DJ Ola, called. I declined the call and she sent me one of the most distressing texts ever, I just lost my husband. I quickly went out to verify the rude joke. With tears, she explained the circumstances that led to his demise. I will be addressing three issues in this write-up. The man called. DJ Ola, the cause of his demise and lessons for all. The man DJ Ola, Olenii Oladibo, I met DJ, Ola about 19 years ago. He was always full of life. Before he started his DJ business, I knew him to be a workaholic. From peak to support work. He was always willing to help others. I can't remember how many newly relocated Nigerians that he introduced to me. He will make sure they get job, house, and even bring them to church. He will not come to church, but he will always refer to our church as the best church in town. When he started the DJ business, he will leave no stone unturned to persuade people to attend his show. He has literally made myself and my wife to attend his late night shows. Because he will fight with you if you didn't attend. He was passionate about his business. He loved it and would do anything to deliver. Niyi can talk and if you don't have luxury of time, don't venture to start any conversation with him. Just greet him and go. He was a man of the people. As a matter of fact, one of the most popular Nigerians in Liverpool. He was loved by many and of course he made so many enemies with his outspoken tendencies. I must quickly add that when he makes mistakes and you make him to realize it, he will apologize and relate with you as if nothing ever happened. Nii was married to his beloved wife, Helen. I can categorically tell you, he loved his wife and children to bit. He was a responsible father. He will do anything to protect and provide for his family. He adored his wife. He hated it when you report him to his wife. He loved her and we that were closed to them know it. Let me move to the next point, the cause of his death. The cause of his death. Contrary to what has been circulating on the social media, Nii has always been dealing with depression and insomnia. He had on several occasions threatened to take his life. Any little thing, he would say, I will just take myself. I remember telling him one day in my office with the wife, present, that he needed mental health assessment. I instructed the wife to encourage him to see the doctor. Since his demise yesterday, I gathered he had attempted to take his own life few times without success. He sent messages to few people a night before, telling them he was depressed. He sent a message to his wife and children also, telling them he loved them but really depressed. Personally, I noticed during the son's 10th birthday Thanksgiving in the church on the August 28, 2022, he was not himself. Niyi will always make a scene with his dancing. That day he was too quiet. And I was thinking, this man eventually is growing. I narrowly missed the hint that could possibly have averted the ugly incident of yesterday. Lessons to be learned. There are many lessons one can learn from. The passing of DJ Ola. I will try to enumerate few. One it's good to enjoy life to its fullest. Niyi did what he loved and enjoyed it. Two it's good to be good. Niyi was a good man. Always willing to help. 3. It's paramount for all of us to take our mental health seriously. That someone appears happy on social media doesn't mean they are happy. 4. It's important for us to always speak out. You will not be helping yourself or your spouse if you keep quiet about certain things. 5. If anyone threatens to take their life himself or herself, report to the appropriate authorities. You may be saving a life. 6. Sometimes, you cannot manage mental health issues with prayer and spirituality alone. Please, seek medical intervention. 7. Let's us be kind to one another. Comments, criticism, and unhealthy. Competition must stop. 8. We must advocate for, if there's nothing like that before, 
for a forum where our people can share their concerns without being scared of being laughed at, made ridicule of, e.t.c9. We must pray always for one another, 10 we must genuinely care for one another, a little smile and words of affirmation can save a life. In conclusion, today is DJ Ola, who else do we know, is hurting and silently crying for help? There's a great need for us to come together as Nigerians in Liverpool to love and support one another. On this note, the pastor added that there will be a special evening prayer on Friday night by 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. to celebrate the life of Mr. Nii. May his soul rest Thanks in peace. Thanks for watching. A Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, share and press the notification bell. Thank you.